Joining us on primetime local news today is Karen Harris, a learner success strategist at Lakeland College that has won the 2020 Gold Award of Excellence. How are you? I'm well, thank you. First off, I want to say congratulations on receiving this award from the World Federation of Colleges and Polytechnics. How does it feel to be recognized for this? Oh, it was it was mind blowing. It was it was I was humbled. I was honored, and in all honesty, really shocked. It, it was uh, yeah, it's a little bit beyond words that I have anyway right now. And what exactly is the award celebrating in the student support services? Uh, the student support services is it's a big component actually of, of students success at the college and what we're doing is i'm part of a very really big team we have counselors we have wellness advisors we have academic advisors and are not academic accessibility advisors and there's a whole team of us my specialty is is in the field of academic success so basically the easiest way to remember what i do i'm a learning coach and so i just specialize in, in how people learn and taking them from where they're at to the next step. So it's a fascinating field. It's a wonderful field. And could you give a little history on your experience and what you've all done at Lakeland College to reach this accomplishment? So my, my background is I'm a high school math teacher and I taught in Kitscotty for eons, 30-ish years. And um, I was asked to come into the college on a part-time basis a little bit and did a little bit of teaching there. And it just kind of evolved. And so what do I do that's different? I'm not sure what I do is different. I didn't really know that this was happening. The nomination was actually done. I was one of the last, I was the last person to know about this. And it, it's just, it's all about finding out where a student's at and taking them to the next step. It, it's being aware of their sensory tiles, styles and their personality types and their goals and their settings. And, and people are complicated, students are complicated. And when we're working with them, it's all about figuring out who they are, where they are. And then what I think I do is I shine the light back on them. I don't know these students. They're coming in, they're a blank slate to me, they're a puzzle. And through my questioning, I try to figure out who they are and how they work. And then I want to shine that back to them. Because most people, when they are coming to college, they put learning into a box and, and they go back to where high school was and what it was like for them. And I'm here to say it's, it has nothing to do with high school. It's about, high school did what high school was supposed to, it got you here. And now, now that you're gone from the general world of high school and gone into the specific world of whatever trade or whatever avenue that you're going into, how do you do that? How, how do you go from the general to the specific? How, how do you realize your goals? What are your goals? Most people don't have big enough goals. So, you know, we kind of start there. And once I can sort of figure out their sensory type, their personality style, how they work, and put that together and then shine it back to them, we'll come up with a strategy that works individually for them. Learning is universal, but most people forget that learning is also very instinctual, and we forget that part. And so your instincts work differently depending on who you are. And once you understand that and understand basically who you are, then you can make the next step. And once you make this next step, you know, then the way they go. It's, it's a fascinating field, but it's very individual. And now did the global pandemic this year cause any hurdles for you to have to jump over through being a learner success strategist at Lakeland College? Uh, there, there was some, for sure. I, we, um, I spent a lot of my time, and, and thankfully we had a really nice fall, and I spent most of my time outside so we could physically distance. And so the students and I were meeting in all kinds of crooks and crannies in the college where we were outside where I could see them because a lot of my advantage is being able to watch a person and I use a lot of observational skills. And so I need to see the whole person. Now, having said that, can we do it online? Yeah, that kind of, but it ties one hand behind my back. And so did the COVID have an impact? For sure. One of the biggest things we found, of course, was all the students saying, wow, ah, online learning. Now we, we're not 100% online. It depends on the on the program and it depends on labs and all that kind of stuff. But keeping all the rules of COVID environment and being very conscious of it, one of the big hurdles was being online. And students were coming back and saying, online, I can't do online. And I said, yeah, I'm gonna challenge you on that because I think you can. You, you Google things to find information. You YouTube things to find information. 
but that's not really the problem. How the information is coming, whether it's an instructor or a book online, however it's coming to the student, that's, that's kind of the same. It's the setup prior to that that's causing some grief. So um, before students would do it kind of seamlessly, you know, you, you get up, you go to school, you walk down the street or onto the bus or whatever, you do all those things. And not knowing that, that you're getting your body going and you're moving and you're getting your mind going and you're getting yourself focused. And all of a sudden that switched into where the student has to be, take responsibility for that. And they have to get themselves out of bed. This idea of rolling over and clicking a button and watching a lecture, uh, it doesn't work so well. It, you have to get physically and mentally engaged. And that's what COVID's done is put more of that pressure onto the student to get more physically and mentally engaged in it and not be able to so easily slough it off. So there's been some definite challenges for it. And is there anything else you'd like to add? I, I just like to add that I work in a wonderful place and I can't do this kind of work without having the support of the leadership team. And that's Dr. Alice Wainwright Stewart and her leadership team. And it, it triples down all to all of us and her ability to keep focus forward is really um, being a testament to allowing people around us and her and everybody that's included in this team to lead learning. And we do it by having the leadership and the freedom to move forward. So a lot of kudos going back to the leadership team. Well, once again, congratulations on receiving this award and thanks again for joining us today, Karen. Oh, you're so welcome.